Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sammy, and tonight we're embarking on a journey through time and science to explore one of humanity's oldest and most persistent enemies, tuberculosis. Imagine a predator so ancient, it may have stalked our ancestors before we were even human. A killer so prolific that it's claimed more lives than all wars and natural disasters combined. A pathogen so insidious that it can hide within you for years, decades even, waiting for the perfect moment to strike. This is not the plot of a science fiction novel. This is the reality of Mycobacterium tuberculosis, the bacterium responsible for tuberculosis, or TB as it's commonly known. Tonight, we'll delve deep into the world of this microscopic marvel of evolution. We'll trace its history alongside our own, unravel its complex biology, and examine its profound impact on human civilization. We'll explore the triumphs and setbacks in our ongoing battle against TB, and look towards the future of this struggle. But first, let's start with some startling statistics to underscore the magnitude of this issue. 1. Right now, as we speak, approximately one quarter of the world's population that's nearly two billion people are infected with TB. 2. In 2022 alone, 10.6 million people fell ill with TB, and 1.3 million died from it. 3. TB remains the leading cause of death from a single infectious agent, ranking above HIV AIDS. 4. Every day, over 4,000 people lose their lives to TB, that's one person every 20 seconds. These numbers are staggering, especially considering that TB is, in most cases, a curable disease. So why does it continue to plague us in the 21st century? To answer that, we need to start at the beginning. In part one, we are going to walk you through the history. The story of tuberculosis is, in many ways, the story of humanity itself. Evidence of TB has been found in human remains dating back to 9,000 years ago. Some researchers even suggest that an early form of the TB bacterium might have infected our hominid ancestors over 3 million years ago. Ancient texts from various civilizations describe a wasting disease that we now recognize as tuberculosis. In India, the Vedas referred to it as yaxma. Ancient Chinese medical texts from 2700 BCE mention lung diseases resembling TB. The Greek physician Hippocrates, often considered the father of modern medicine, described a disease he called phthisis, meaning wasting away, which was almost certainly TB. Throughout history, TB has gone by many names. The ancient Greeks called it phthisis. In 18th century Europe, it was known as consumption, a reference to how the disease seemed to consume the patient from within. In the 19th century, it earned the moniker the White Plague due to the pallor of its victims. It's also been called the captain of all these men of death, a term coined by John Bunyan in the 17th century. TB's impact on human history cannot be overstated. It has shaped our culture, our art, and our understanding of disease. In the 19th century, TB was romanticized in literature and art associated with creative genius and spiritual purity. The pale, thin, consumptive look became fashionable among the upper classes. But make no mistake, there was nothing romantic about the reality of TB. It was a brutal killer that spared no one, rich or poor, young or old. It claimed the lives of notable figures throughout history, including 1. Tutankhamun, the boy pharaoh of ancient Egypt. 2. Poets John Keats and Percy Bysshe Shelley. 3. Authors Charlotte and Emily Bronte. 4. Composer Frederick Chopin. 5. Revolutionary leader Simon Bolivar. The Industrial Revolution marked a turning point in the history of TB. As people flocked to crowded, unsanitary cities, TB found the perfect conditions to spread. By the early 19th century, TB was responsible for nearly one in four deaths in Europe. The tide began to turn in 1882 when German physician Robert Koch identified Mycobacterium tuberculosis as the cause of TB. This groundbreaking discovery paved the way for targeted research and treatment. In the early 20th century, the development of the bacille calmet garin BCG vaccine offered some protection against TB, particularly in children. However, the real game-changer came in the 1940s with the discovery of streptomycin, the first antibiotic effective against TB. For a time, it seemed like humanity might finally have the upper hand against its ancient foe. TB rates in developed countries plummeted. But our victory was short-lived and far from global. Which brings us to our current situation, a world where TB remains a significant threat, particularly in developing nations. 
In part two, we will discuss the biology of the perfect predator. To understand why TB remains such a formidable opponent, we need to delve into its biology. Mycobacterium tuberculosis is a masterpiece of evolution, exquisitely adapted to its human hosts. Let's start with its basic structure. M. tuberculosis is a rod-shaped bacterium, about 2 to 4 micrometers in length. That's about 20 times smaller than a human hair is wide. But don't let its small size fool you, this tiny organism is incredibly complex. One of TB's most distinctive features is its cell wall. Unlike most bacteria, which have a simple cell membrane, TB has a thick, waxy coat made up of mycolic acids. This unique structure serves several purposes. Two. Stealth, the unusual composition of the cell wall, helps TB evade detection by our immune system. 3. Antibiotic resistance, many antibiotics struggle to penetrate this fortress like cell wall. But TB's defenses are just the beginning. What truly sets it apart is its life cycle within the human body. Let's walk through it step by step. 1. Infection TB typically enters the body through the airways. When an infected person coughs, sneezes, or even speaks, they release tiny droplets containing the bacteria. If you inhale these droplets, the bacteria can make their way deep into your lungs. 2. Meeting the macrophages in your lungs, the bacteria encounter alveolar macrophages. These are immune cells whose job is to engulf and destroy invading pathogens. Under normal circumstances, this would be the end of the line for most bacteria. But for TB, it's all part of the plan. 3. Hijacking the host instead of being destroyed by the macrophage, TB has evolved mechanisms to survive inside it. It prevents the macrophage from fusing its phagosome, the compartment containing the bacteria, with lysosomes which contain destructive enzymes. Essentially, TB turns its would-be destroyer into a comfortable home. 4. Slow and steady, unlike many pathogens that replicate rapidly, TB takes its time. It divides only every 15 to 20 hours, compared to a 20 minutes for some bacteria. This slow growth helps it conserve resources and avoid triggering strong immune responses. 5. Building a fortress as more immune cells arrive to deal with the infection, TB orchestrates the formation of a granuloma. This is a cluster of immune cells that wall off the infected area. While this is meant to contain the infection, TB uses it as a shelter where it can hide and persist. 6. The waiting game in most cases, the infection reaches a stalemate at this point. The bacteria are contained within granulomas, and the person has latent TB infection. They're not sick and can't spread the disease. This can last for years or even decades. 7. Reactivation in about 5 to 10% of cases, usually when the immune system is weakened, the bacteria can break out of the granulomas. This leads to active TB disease, where the person becomes ill and can spread the bacteria to others. This complex life cycle makes TB incredibly difficult to eliminate. The bacteria can persist in a dormant state, invisible to both our immune system and our diagnostic tests. It's like having a ticking time bomb in your body that could go off at any moment. But TB's arsenal doesn't end there. It also has several other tricks up its sleeve. 1. Antigenic variation TB can change the proteins it displays on its surface, making it harder for our immune system to recognize and target it. 2. Efflux pumps these are protein structures that can pump antibiotics out of the bacterial cell, contributing to antibiotic resistance. 3. Biofilm formation in some conditions, TB can form biofilms communities of bacteria encased in a self-produced matrix. These biofilms can be highly resistant to both antibiotics and immune attacks. 4. Metabolic flexibility, TB can adapt its metabolism to survive in various environments within the body, including low oxygen conditions. All these features make TB an incredibly successful pathogen. It's been estimated that TB has infected more than 100 billion people throughout human history more than all other bacterial pathogens combined. In part three, we will discuss about the global impact of TB. Now that we understand what makes TB such a formidable opponent, let's examine its impact on the world today. As we mentioned earlier, about a quarter of the world's population is infected with TB. However, the burden of TB is not evenly distributed. In 2022, 30 countries accounted for 86% of new TB cases. The top six countries, India, Indonesia, China, the Philippines, Pakistan, and Nigeria, accounted for 60% of the global total. Why does TB hit some countries harder than others? 
Several factors contribute. 1. Poverty TB thrives in conditions of poverty. Overcrowded housing, poor nutrition, and limited access to healthcare all increase the risk of TB transmission and progression to active disease. 2. HIV HIV weakens the immune system, making people much more susceptible to TB. In some parts of Africa, up to 70% of TB patients are also HIV positive. 3. Healthcare access Many high burden countries struggle with limited healthcare resources, making it difficult to diagnose and treat TB effectively. 4. Urbanization rapid. Unplanned urbanization in many developing countries creates perfect conditions for TB to spread. The economic impact of TB is staggering. The World Health Organization estimates that TB costs the global economy $1 trillion annually. This includes both direct costs like medical care and indirect costs like lost productivity. But numbers can only tell us so much. To truly understand the impact of TB, we need to consider the human cost. TB primarily affects people in their most productive years, between the ages of 15 and 54. When a breadwinner falls ill with TB, it can push entire families into poverty. TB also carries a heavy stigma in many parts of the world. Patients often face discrimination and social isolation, which can discourage people from seeking diagnosis and treatment. Children are particularly vulnerable to TB. In 2022, an estimated 1.1 million children fell ill with TB, and 207,000 children died from the disease. TB in children is often missed or misdiagnosed because its symptoms can mimic those of other common childhood illnesses. Another growing concern is drug-resistant TB. When TB treatment is improperly administered or interrupted, the bacteria can develop resistance to antibiotics. Multi-drug-resistant TB MDR-TB and extensively drug-resistant TB XDR-TB are much more difficult and expensive to treat, with lower cure rates. In 2022, there were an estimated 410,000 new cases of MDR-TB. Treatment for drug-resistant TB can take up to two years and involve toxic drugs with severe side effects. The cure rate for MDR-TB is only about 60%, compared to over 85% for drug-susceptible TB. Part 4 will be the diagnosis and treatment of TB. Given the complexity and stealth of TB, how do we diagnose and treat it? Let's start with diagnosis. The most common method for diagnosing TB is still the same one used over a century ago, the sputum smear microscopy. This involves examining a patient's sputum phlegm under a microscope to look for TB bacteria. While this method is inexpensive and relatively quick, it's not very sensitive, especially in children and HIV-positive individuals. More advanced diagnostic tools include 1. Culture tests These are more sensitive than microscopy but can take several weeks to provide results. 2. Molecular tests Tests like the GenExpert MTB Rife can detect TB DNA and test for drug resistance in just a few hours. 4. Chest X-rays While not definitive on their own, X-rays can show lung abnormalities suggestive of TB. Once TB is diagnosed, treatment begins. For drug-susceptible TB, the standard treatment is a six-month course of four antibiotics asoniazid, rifampicin, ethambutol, and pyrazinamide. This regimen has a cure rate of over 85% when properly administered. However, treatment isn't always straightforward. The long duration of treatment can lead to poor adherence, especially once patients start feeling better. This is why directly observed therapy dot, where a health worker watches the patient take each dose, is often recommended. For drug-resistant TB, treatment is much more complex. It can involve second-line drugs that are more toxic and less effective, and treatment can last up to two years. New drugs like Bedaquiline and Delamanid have shown promise in treating drug-resistant TB, but their use is still limited in many high-burden countries. Prevention is also a crucial part of TB control. The BCG vaccine, while not perfect, can provide some protection against severe forms of TB in children. Other preventive measures include 1. Treating latent TB infection to prevent progression to active disease. 2. Improving ventilation in high-risk settings like hospitals and prisons. 3. Contact tracing to identify and treat people who have been exposed to TB. In part 5, we will discuss how to fight against TB. Despite the challenges, there's reason for hope in the fight against TB. Global efforts have made significant progress. 1. Between 2015 and 2022, 
the TB incidence rate fell by 8% and the number of TB deaths decreased by 19%. 2. An estimated 74 million lives were saved through TB diagnosis and treatment between 2000 and 2022. 3. Global TB research and development funding reached $915 million in 2021, the highest level ever recorded. Several initiatives are driving progress. 1. The NTB strategy adopted by the World Health Organization in 2014. This strategy aims to end the global TB epidemic by 2035. 2. The Global Fund This Partnership has invested more than $8 billion in TB programs since 2002. 3. USAID's Global Accelerator to end TB This initiative aims to reach 40 million people with TB treatment by 2022. 4. The Global Drug Facility This mechanism has helped lower the price of TB drugs and diagnostics. Research is also offering new hope. Several promising TB vaccines are in clinical trials, including M72 as 01E, which has shown 50% efficacy in preventing progression to active TB in adults with latent infection. New drugs and shorter treatment regimens are being developed and tested. For example, a four-month treatment regimen for drug-susceptible TB has recently been shown to be as effective as the standard six-month regimen. Out advances in technology are also aiding the fight against TB. Artificial intelligence is being used to interpret chest X-rays potentially speeding up TB screening in resource-limited settings. Mobile health technologies are being employed to improve treatment adherence and data collection. Part 6 will be the future of TB. As we look to the future, what can we expect in the ongoing battle against TB? In the short term, the COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant negative impact on TB control efforts. Lockdowns and overwhelmed health systems have disrupted TB services in many countries. The WHO estimates that the pandemic set back progress against TB by several years. However, the pandemic has also driven innovations that could benefit TB control in the long run. These include 1. Increased production capacity for diagnostic tests and medical equipment. 2. Improved disease surveillance systems. 3. Greater public awareness about respiratory infections and their prevention. Looking further ahead, several developments could reshape the TB landscape. 1. Universal health coverage as more countries move towards universal health coverage. Access to TB diagnosis and treatment should improve. 2. New vaccines, if current vaccine candidates prove successful, we could see a game-changing TB vaccine within the next decade. 3. Precision medicine advances in genomics could lead to more personalized TB treatment, improving outcomes and reducing side effects. 4. Social determinants of health addressing poverty, malnutrition, and other social factors could have a significant impact on TB rates. 5. Climate change, rising temperatures, and changing precipitation patterns could alter TB transmission dynamics in unpredictable ways. Conclusion D. As we conclude our journey through the world of tuberculosis, we're left with a complex picture. TB is a testament to the incredible adaptability of life, a microorganism that has co-evolved with us for millennia. It's a reminder of our vulnerability as biological beings and of the vast inequalities that still exist in our world.